Let's actually take the skin off this and the Spore Laser, probably my favourite of the new kit guns. There's only two of them and this is by far definitely my favourite. Made more so by the fact that if I go to Rivens and throw this in here, um, it doubles the damage. Though we do have a, a bit of a side effect on it, we are losing some of the fall off. So we'll just go over here, throw lethal momentum in and ha ha, it is now better than it was before for both range, well fall off, the projectile speed because it's the projectile speed that got minus. So have 40 of that, projectile, projectile is now better than it was before, but it's gone from 2,296 98 damage to 4,169. It went from just under 6,000 total radial damage to 8,000. This should make this gun so much better. The keen eyed people will note one slight issue that I have here. To get this to fit, I had to lose something. And what I've done is dumped crit damage. Now I'll have to take that, yeah, let go, <laughs> take that off, put that back on. From 3.3 to 6.9, it's probably just as good. I'm losing three times damage by not having that in there. What I should do is take that out, which is a 90% damage mod, put that back in, and fit something else in there, probably Pistol Pestilence. So we still have Viral on this, but it's so little. It is actually physically losing damage if I do it this way. And this is this is bugging me just, just a bit. If we come in with the last build you've seen on, which is basically crit based, it's what? 2000s, 2202, 2240, obviously the crit damage is going to be much, much more. The base damage, not really seeing much base damage if I'm being honest. 45s, few 60s maybe. It is definitely going to be better with the crit here because, well... I was seeing 3000s, 1000s, 2000s, whereas if we go back to 3.3 times crit multiplier and twice the damage, almost twice the radial, I don't think this is going to be anywhere near as good. But it's something I've always wondered and never bothered actually kind of sorting out and actually looking into. There is the whole status versus crit side of it, but the crit chance is going to be the same. This is just the crit damage. It's over 100%, so the crit damage, if it's better, that, well, that's going to get rolled till I've got a crit damage mod, for sure. No massive surprise here. The highest number i seen was, hang on, if we can just jump this forward a tiny little bit, 1,600-ish. It broke over 2,000, but it did it once. I rolled it once, just once, and got that. It will obviously do not more damage numbers, but more damage because there's going to be extra rounds firing. What I didn't expect was, well, doing 2,000s. There's the, yep, lots of 2,000s. Look at how much radial damage this thing is now doing that's not what i expected from this i think if we're coming here it's going to be so much easier to be able to just no nah, that's probably not the best of place to do it um 1000s 2000s 2000s 5508 5508 5131 um lots and lots and lots it seems to kind of cap at about five, mid fives. I didn't really see it go past that. But, oh yes, 3000s, 1000s. The yellow crits, you can see, are 600s, 1000 in there. But because it has more crit chance, this is just how the weapon works. More crit chance means you have a higher chance of getting orange crits or red crits. 
which will obviously deal more damage again. Slow more this. See if I can't. I could have sworn I saw 6,000, but looking over this again, I'm not seeing it. It could just be because of, look at how many numbers there is. They kind of blur in together. Hang on. That definitely looks like an 8,000. It's not. It's 800 and something. 5,454. It definitely seemed to peak around the mid 5,000s. Increasing the multi-shot, increased the damage, but dub doubling the damage, completely worthless over losing the crit multiplier, which is why, and kind of in my own defense here, there's a lot of times I've done build videos for weapons. This is not in any way, by the way, a build video for this weapon, but there's a lot of builds that I have on guns, and I've said this many times in the past, a lot of my builds are completely rubbish because I do silly things like this, where I'm still figuring out what to do with it, I don't think my catch moon ever landed on a set build. I was constantly changing that thing to try and tweak it to get as much damage as I could out of it. This thing, I'm still doing that now, and I've been using this secondary constantly since it was added. Okay, having the ribbon, I probably should have done that a little bit earlier, but sticking with the crit over straight up damage, Definitely the way to go with pretty much anything. This is a known fact anyway, but I just thought I would use this Riven to demonstrate it, and I really did not expect it to go straight to a crit chance to throw orange crits at me. Plus, obviously, having the arcane on a kit gun, always great too. That's what them circles were when I took out enemies. It just kind of slows them down when they run over it. Is that what that does? Yes, it creates a cold circle, which slows them down as I say but I think we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time